Okay, so I lied. Um, I said that the last video was going to be my last video for the day. I just came back from a walk. The sun is setting. It's going down. My feet are killing me because uh, my new Under Armour shoes. I had to break them in. And then, yeah, I actually have on um, American Eagle socks right now. But maybe I was going to do a walkover, a back walkover, a video. I got a nice little sweat going. So... Anytime that you're doing gymnastics or anything athletic, you should warm up bef beforehand, you should stretch, you should do all that kind of stuff. PSA, public service announcement. Um, on the ground, I just have a rug. It's not like a real mat, but I had got this little cushion mat. I know it says Planet Fitness, but it came from TJ Maxx. I love that store. I might just throw this down. You got my non-disclosure agreement. So in order to do a back walkover, you're going to be standing. You're going to have your arms up by your ears. You want your hands, your arms should be right next to your ears. And you want your hands, your fingers are supposed to point like back or up because that's what it would be if you were doing a handstand. Now girls can do this trick on beam. So they want their palms like this to make like a great big bear claw. Sometimes they even try to lock their thumbs like that. It's a little bit tricky. It's kind of hard. And in order to do a back walkover, you should already have a bridge or a back bend. And you should be able to kick one leg up, kick the other leg up, so on and so forth. When you're in your bridge, you have to have such and such flexibility, such an amount of flexibility in your armpit. In your shoulders, in your armpit, you have to be able to back bend. And like I said, you want to be able to kick over. So when you're in your back bend, you're holding up your bridge, you can rock back and forth over uh, your shoulders and onto your feet, changing, shifting your weight from your feet to your shoulders, feet to your shoulders. Also, uh, other drill you can do is pop off your hands and pop off your feet. Pop off your hands, pop off your feet. This is called hands, feet, hands, feet. I'm gonna show you this real quick. I'm gonna have to move the iPad over to this way, I don't know. Let's see what this looks like first. So I'm laying down on the, the, the thing. Lordy. I left a great big sweat mark on the mat. So as you've seen what I did, I pushed up in my bridge, my arms stayed by my ears, and I had my fingers pointed toward my feet, I was on my tiptoes, and I shifted my weight back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The other thing that I told you is called hands feet. It's a little bit more trickier, it's a little bit more painful. I'll try to show you this if I can. So I really can't show you that because the mat that I have on the ground is slipping and sliding as I do it, but you get the idea. And I just got out of breath and it's like I'm seeing stars. Deep breath, in through your nose, out through your mouth. I'm going to try to tell you like helpful things. Make your bed in the morning, it helps cure depression. There are studies that show that it does, just trust me and believe me. So anyhow. If you were able to do that, you got to have your standing back bend. And if you don't have a standing back bend, the best way to work it is to put your back up against the wall, put your hands on the wall, climb down to the floor, and back up. So on and so forth, till you get nice and limber in your back, and all this and that. Now, when you go to do your walkover, your dominant leg is out in front. You want your feet turned out just a little bit, ever so slightly. That's like a dance term. And um, you do have your arms by your ears. You can look at your hands and you are allowed to let your head go back when you're doing this trick. Normal tricks, for the most part, you never can throw your head back. Never, ever, ever. Which I'm still not saying throw your head back. But what I'm saying is spot and find your hands. Look at your hands. Follow them to the floor. Or if you're on beam. Any type of trick that the girls do on beam, 
Ideally, you want to do it in the most straight line as possible. The fastest point between, the fastest way to get to two, between two points is a straight line. So, I remember how I told you I broke my finger recently, so look, bear with me. Anyway, arms are up by my ears, my strong leg is out in front. I'm nervous, okay. Oh, I haven't done this in a long time. That was really rusty. Okay, that was really, really rusty. My hands are sweaty. I, um, I turned my hip this way a little bit because my flexibility is not there. The deeper you have a split, the easier this trick is to do. I'm going to try to move the iPad over to the couch, and let's see if I could do this one more time. P possibly. I don't know. This is... Bear with me, people. Bear with me. Alright, bear with me. So, I'm going to try this again. I didn't even stretch or warm up like I told you you were supposed to. <laughs> okay. It's not the best. I got a cramp in my butt now. Like I said, I'm rusty. I'll have to try to show you some more videos on how to get stretched out and limber and flexible and all this and that. And I don't know, I just hope, I have enough hobbies and talents and different things and experiences. I feel like I have enough life experience to have content for my channel. And yes, I'm a jack of all trades. I don't want to get like crazy distorted, but definitely I'll come back talk to you more about everything else. But as far as the gymnastics, I'm trying to get my butt back in shape. Uh, just always be tight in your belly, tight in your bum, tone, hold a plank, hold a uh, arch, like a banana, if you lay on your back and then like kind of keep your hands and your feet up off the ground. Try to rock back and forth. I used to call it like Noah's Ark because it looks like a boat or a banana, a hollow hold. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to shower, shave, watch either Deadpool or Avengers. I'm probably going to watch Deadpool because I rented Avengers recently from Redbox. Then why did I go out and buy it anyhow? But I liked it. So I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Peace. <laughs>